Yes, yes, people. Arsenal are set to agree a £100 million transfer fee with West Ham United for the transfer of Declan Rice from West Ham United to Arsenal. What a signing this would be for Arsenal. I can't lie as a City fan. This is one that gets me a little bit jealous. Declan Rice, a fantastic footballer, as we know, played 245 times for West Ham United and over 40 games already for England at the age of just 24. He brings experience of Premier League. He brings a, a player that has led his club, West Ham United, to European glory and he's taken that to Arsenal, who very narrowly missed out on the Premier League. Arsenal, of course, have to improve their squad. They have to go again after this year's disappointment in the Premier League. They're going to be expected to win some sort of silverware next year, whether it be the Carabao or whether it be the Premier League. And they want to be getting out of the group stages of the Champions League. And to do that, they need to improve their squad. This is a great signing, guys. If you look at what can Declan Rice bring to Arsenal, well, first of all, he's an upgrade on Granit Xhaka, who looks like he's on the way out potentially going uh, back to Germany. He's going to be improving on that position. But he also brings cover for Thomas Partey because he can play in that sixth position. This is going to be a great signing. He's got cover now for um, for Thomas Partey, which he didn't really have. Obviously, he got Jorginho, but Declan Rice is clear of Jorginho in my view. And going forward, that's going to be a really, really interesting bit of his game for Arsenal. This is a great signing for Arsenal. It really, really is. And it shows intent. The Arsenal fans are surely going to be happy with this news. The news has come from The Guardian today. Jacob Steinberg reporting that £100 million will be paid to West Ham over the course of the transfer if certain uh, targets are met. Obviously, you know, winning silverware appearances and all that kind of stuff. The fee may be around £80 million as a base fee with the remaining £20 million coming as potential add-ons. This is on the back of news that Bayern Munich have pulled out of the race. This has been reported by Pletty Goal. Bayern Munich have pulled out the race for Declan Rice as they believe he is now on the verge of signing for Arsenal. This is a huge signing, guys. Of course, after West Ham won the uh, the Europa Conference League, um, you've seen, obviously, he was asked, wasn't he, are you going to stay at West Ham? And he just kept his... He didn't really say yeah, he didn't really say no. He's contracted until 2024, so only one year left on his contract. West Ham needs to cash in now, really, and this deal, in my opinion, is going to go through. I think it's a great signing for Arsenal. I really, really do. But this cannot be the only signing. This cannot be the only big signing. This is a great signing, but Arsenal need more. I think they need cover for, for uh, Bakayo Saka. Bakayo Saka didn't really do too well towards the end of the season. If you look at his stats, kind of fell off a little bit. And he's only young and he's playing in every single game. They need cover for him. A potential striker. Right now, they only have Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Enketia. Are those two players good enough to take Arsenal to the top silverware? To the Premier League, to the Champions League? I would say no. I think they need to get rid of Eddie Enketia. As good as he did this year when he when he was needed, I think they need to get, him, get, get rid of him, whether it be a loan or sale. And they need to get another striker in. Potentially a different type of striker as well. Maybe a taller striker. Maybe a more physical striker. Just to have some sort of different option that, that, than Gabriel Jesus. I also think that they could do with another creative player in the midfield. However, that might be Emil Smith-Rowe. A player that I really, really like. Had a really tough year, didn't he, this year for Arsenal. Injuries didn't really get in the team. I think that he needs to step up next season. And then in the defence, I think they need to seriously look at um, another left-back option, potentially. Obviously, Kieran Tierney does leave. We're hearing a lot of rumours that he might go back up north. They'll need cover for Zinchenko. And they need another centre-back. Having the options that they do will not be good enough. You cannot lose Saliba and your whole title charge just collapses. That isn't good enough. It's not acceptable for a club like Arsenal. And they need to go big. They need to go and get a big, big centre-back in. You know what I mean? Kivior, of course, came in in January. Didn't feature too much. Did towards the end of the season. Um, it's probably too early to tell. But having Rob Holding, you need to get someone in there. Where if Saliba or Gabriel gets injured, you can put a player in there. And, and, and you know, this is, this is really, for me, make or break for Arsenal now. It really is. They've had a great season in terms of no one really expected them to, 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 to finish where they did. But it, it was a disappointment at the same time. Two things can be, can be right, guys. So they need to show intent this transfer window. Over £200 million spent this summer will be a great start. But £100 million straight away going on Declan Rice. 
how will they manage that remaining transfer budget? Will they go and get two £50 million players? Will they go and get a world-class winger? Or will they try and get four or five players for around the £25, £30 million pound mark? These are all questions that Arsenal, the Arsenal board are going to have to answer and they need to deliver. But going back to the Declan Rice transfer, I think it's a great signing. I really, really do. Will this take Arsenal to some silverware? And I'm talking proper silverware. I'm talking Premier League. I'm talking Champions League. If you look at the Champions League, I think obviously Real Madrid now being linked with Mbappe, that could strengthen. But I think Europe is weak at the moment. And there is a chance that Arsenal could make it to the, to the later stages of the Champions League next season. But they're going to have to manage that balance. If you look at what they did in, in the season this year, they fielded a weakened team at City at the FA Cup, went out. They fielded a weakened C, uh, team throughout the whole Europa League, they went out. They can't do that next year. I think there will be a pressure on Mikel Arteta next season to pick strong teams for every game. I don't think that Arsenal fans will accept, really, playing weakened sides in the FA Cup and Carabao Cup and getting knocked out. I don't think they will. So I think that they need to win some silverware and Declan Rice helps them do that. And I think this is the right time for Declan Rice. I'm speaking a lot about Arsenal. I think this is the right time for Declan Rice. You know what I mean? What else really can he do at West Ham United now? They, 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 they didn't get relegated. That's a massive plus point. And they won a cup. Not only a cup, a European cup. Granted, it's the third in the tier, but it's still a European cup and that's a great success for them. So I think he's took them as far as he can as a captain of West Ham. He will be remembered by West Ham fans for decades to come as the man who captained the side to European glory. And this is the time now for him to say, you know what? I'm going to arrive at the big table, Champions League, and sure, let, let's see what we can do. Because I'm really excited to see what can Declan Rice do in the Champions League. Because, of course, we only really see him um, in the big games in the Premier League. But that's a little bit unfair because, you know, you're playing for West Ham United, who don't have that quality side. And when he plays for England, which, after time, he played against teams like Malta and, and San Marino, you know, you can't really judge too much off that. So I think now, making that move to Arsenal... Big games, Arsenal versus City, Arsenal versus Liverpool, these sort of matches where he needs to perform and then the crucial Champions League matches just to see just how good Declan Rice is. But I'm looking forward to this signing. You know what I mean? As a football fan, I think it's a great signing for all, for everyone. I think Arsenal, great signing. For Declan Rice, it's a great signing. West Ham are going to get a lot of money that they can then reinvest into the squad. I think it's a good good signing overall, and I'm looking forward to see how this gets on. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good signing for Arsenal? Do you think it's a good move for Declan Rice? And how much do you think this is going to hinder West Ham going into next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do us a massive favour, guys. Make sure you drop a like on the stream. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as we approach 2,000 subscribers. And people, see you in the next one. See you in a bit.